Here's a quick tip in InDesign for being able to see all the keyboard shortcuts that you can use in the program. If you open up InDesign, this could be CS3, CS4, CS5. You can go up to the Edit menu and take a look at the keyboard shortcuts menu right there. I'll click on that. And this is where you can go to see different keyboard shortcuts. So let's say you guys are trying to find out how to create a shortcut or what the shortcut is to create a brand new document without, you know, I don't know, without going to File New. Okay, you can actually find it in here. As I click on Options or Content out here, you'll be able to see that the current shortcut is located right down here. Now you can edit these keyboard commands if you want to by creating a new shortcut down here. This will be saved as a separate set. Now the reason why I brought you in here is to have you show the set. This is really key. If I click show set, it'll show the default set of shortcuts and typically typically it'll open it in like notepad or you know, wordpad or something like that, some kind of application. And what you can do is you can just print this if you want or you can select it all, copy it, bring it over here, I'll cancel, bring it back into InDesign, create a new document, I can paste. And what we can do is we can actually take this content and then go through and try and filter the list a little bit. You'll see that it's got a lot of what are called non-defined. So if I zoom in a little bit here, these are keyboard commands that are not defined yet. So this list is enormous. If you want to, you can go through and try and find all of these and then just delete them if you want to do that. That'll let you have a quick called set that just has the typical keyboard commands you can use within InDesign. So it's just a quick tip for you to be able to print this out, save it so you can use the keyboard commands more efficiently.